Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Bipolar Brilliance. I am going to keep this very brief today and be kind of a fangirl and just say that I'm so excited that Ellen Forney replied to my tweet. Perhaps you also watched my video about what exactly does it mean when you say you've been stable for 17 years as somebody with bipolar disorder. And so she said her other book, Rock Steady, basically, which I haven't read yet, but I will. Um, friend and I had just been talking about it yesterday before I realized I had gotten a response. And this was a friend who also has bipolar and recommended marbles to me. And it was brilliant. Um, so I will read it. And anyway, your response about that, you know, life inevitably rocks anybody off balance, but um, no major mood episodes, no hospitalizations. So um, I really appreciate the clarification about that. And by the way, also, Ellen, um, I watched your video from a couple months ago, um, a message to the city um, with some, with a cool little... Uh, doodling exercise that you can do um, and I guess the other thoughts that I have in general this channel really about all things living with mood disorders um, that could be helpful to even those that don't have a diagnosis um, is the value of art therapy um, when I was institutionalized which was 11 years ago now, um, and I haven't been back. Um, well, first of all, as I spoke to in an earlier video, they kind of took away all the sharps, which was really, um, I was like, really? Wait, what? I can't have a pen? I can't, I can't have a Sharpie? No, you know, but you can have a crayon, you know? So I just colored with crayons, which was fine. Um, you know, I colored with whatever I could and then eventually built up the trust that, you know, I was able to get uh, a Sharpie um, <laughs> and markers and a pen. Uh, it took some time to build up that trust with the staff. Um, but point being, I still have a lot of the things that I colored and drew in there. And that was a big coping mechanism for me. I did not identify as an artist at the time, although I am a dancer. I've done my share of visual art. Um, you know, my doodling style is like third grader. Um, and so P.S. if I ever do publish a memoir, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll see if I can collab with Ellen Forney and make it a graphic memoir that would add a different layer to it but um I don't know uh anyway I digress but <laughs> art just doing any kind of art um is therapeutic for anybody it doesn't have to be good it doesn't have to be anything it's more just the act of doing something it doesn't have to be pen and paper it could be you know, I really love to do collages. I know a lot more people these days are into doing vision boards. Um, it could be repotting a plant even, or like drawing on some rocks or just whatever. Um, there's just something so therapeutic about that. Um, but it, oh, coloring mandalas, um, that used to be something I could do to focus a lot. Um, Zen tangles, um, Ellen's doodle kind of reminded me of a Zen tangle sort of thing in a way. Um, there, because there is something about doing the regular patterns, I think that probably does something to the brain. I'm sure someone somewhere has done some research on it. Or they will. Uh, anyway. I may as well include my disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I don't give medical advice. I'm just an individual with lived experience as a person with multiple diagnoses, including bipolar disorder and ADHD. I am a wife, I am a mother, I'm a health educator, and I'm just somebody who's passionate about breaking down stigma. Um, and so stigma and stereotypes thrive in silence 
And so that's why I have begun this channel and hoping to connect and add a little bit of light to anybody's life. Um, maybe on a future um, broadcast, I will bust out the jeans that I wore pretty much the entire two and a half, three weeks that I was in the joint, the psych ward. Um, and all of the doodles that I wrote all over it. And I don't know, being bipolar or whatever, and just having the same pair of jeans to wear every day, I would turn them inside out <laughs> from day to day. So there's drawings on either side. And as I recall, you know, some of them are geometric patterns and things like that. And some of them are like these monsters. And that was sort of my way of like getting out anger and frustration at what was going on around me and the powerlessness, um, you know, and the feeling disrespected by staff and just so many things. Um, it was healing. It's just healing. Um, so when we don't censor ourselves to just write and, you know, not compare ourselves to some brilliant um, artist, hey, they worked on their craft anyway, and in addition to the talent that they were born with. Um, and it's just like I say, as a dancer, anybody can dance. Um, you know, maybe not everybody can be a prima ballerina or whatever, uh, but that doesn't mean that they can't move in a way that makes them feel good. Um, so that's really, I guess, I don't know, my uh, moral for today. And again, just kind of being a fangirl and saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much for responding directly to my tweet. I feel super special. Little fangirl moment. I love your work, Ellen Forney. Um, marbles, my madness, Michelangelo and me. It was such a good book. Could have been autobiographical in a lot of ways, uncanny like, um, really entertaining and also um, helpful for somebody that has bipolar disorder. Um, it was affirming for me, um, like here's somebody else that has been through a lot of what I've been through. And also eye opening to somebody who does not have a mood disorder, but maybe that knows somebody that does or maybe even that has certain facets of it like depression or anxiety so anyway i told myself i'd keep this short but y'all know me i kind of tend to ramble and don't forget to like this video and subscribe turn your alerts on for this channel bipolar brilliance you can find me also on instagram at Bipolar Brilliance Coaching, on Twitter at BP Brilliance LLC, and I'm working on the face book. I used to call it Face Plant. Working on the Facebook thing. Don't have it going right now. Got mixed feelings about it. That's a whole nother story. I'll get there. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this. And be well. Take care of yourselves and each other.